Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Natalie and I'm part of the Design Future London team. This is a really, really quick, simple guide to what Design Future London is, what it can offer your students and how we can help deliver this in the classroom. The Mayor of London, C40 Cities and George Clark are passionate about getting more young Londoners learning about their built environment and also being involved in how cities shaped in the future to build a better London for everyone. This year we're working with lots of exciting partners to maximise this opportunity and I'm going to tell you more about them during this short video. Design Future London is a challenge competition designed around key learning criteria in the STEM and STEAM syllabuses. This enrichment programme considers the delivery of the three I's and also delivers key Ofsted criteria in knowledge, skills and behaviour, all while enhancing life skills, employability and self-belief. It can also deliver on key Gatsby benchmarks, numbers 4, 5 and 6. You have the opportunity to embed this into GCSE, A-level, BTEC and the T-levels that you're teaching. My colleague Lisa is now going to tell you about an exciting opportunity in this year's programme. Hi, I'm Lisa, Head of the London Plan and here for the Mayor. For the first time this year, students will be able to tell us what they want for London's future. This will help us write the next London Plan. The London Plan is the document that sets out what can be built in London, where and when. This will shape London over the next 20 years. My team here at City Hall are talking to people across London right now about what that plan should say and we want to hear from young Londoners. We've built feedback opportunities into your lessons and all entries will be looked at and analysed so we understand young people's priorities as part of our discussions for the next London plan. There'll be several events that we invite you to take part in too, so do take a look on the challenge materials for links to sign up. The challenge has run for two consecutive years and this is year three. We've learnt a lot and have built in feedback from students and teachers each year to improve this and make it as easy as possible for you to deliver in the classroom. Last year, nearly 500 students entered the competition and you can catch up on some of the impacts on our finalist website. We've included some case studies from teachers, quotes from students and feedback from industry mentors who help schools along their journey. The talent we see each year is absolutely incredible and we're so excited about doing this again. Having Minecraft Education and Esri ArcGIS on board this year will boost accessibility to digital skills and is a huge opportunity for your students. There's a lot more on offer too, and I'll come on to that in a moment. We want your students to consider where they live. What could be improved in their neighbourhood or town centre? What do they want to see? We want ideas, creativity and inspiration. We want young people to visualise their city and what they want for their future. Identify an opportunity and design a solution. It's that simple. It could be an area of public space that's underused or uninspiring. It could be a shopping area or maybe a shop front. It could be a whole street. It could be a lack of affordable homes, a missing community centre, or a lack of a nighttime economy. Whatever jumps out. There is a guided pack of lesson plans for each age group. That's five to 11 year olds, 11 to 15, and 16 to 18 year olds. The 19 to 24 year old competition is separate and will launch in October 2023. There's a challenge brief and we've included all sorts of supporting resources, a YouTube channel, free digital licenses for Minecraft Education and ArcGIS, and we're supplying free model making materials to bring your students' designs to life. You can also access industry mentors to help you in the classroom. To get started, take a look at the lesson plans. You'll need to organise your licenses, model packs and other things before you Start, so give yourself a few weeks before to get organised. There's all sorts of ways that you could submit your design solution. You could hand draw it. You can build a physical model. You could send us photographs. Use the Minecraft education world provided. Perhaps build a digital model using a 3D software or make a video. Your students should justify their design and tell us why they designed it that way and what it offers future Londoners and specifically how it builds a better London for everyone. You'll be provided with a set of slides which summarise the syllabuses that you are working to in design and technology, for instance, or geography. We've done these as an example, and we've tried to link the design challenge to those syllabuses. We encourage you to invite industry professionals to come and help deliver the challenge in your classroom. 
They will offer inspiration to your students and help you. If you have any questions or need any help at all, drop us a line at the email designchallenge at london.gov.uk. Our team will be at a series of free events and will be holding an exhibition at the Building Centre in central London from October to February next year. Details will follow, but make sure you sign up for any event early to guarantee a spot. There will also be online events and we'll be in touch on opportunities if you are registered with us. The Design Future London Challenge is open right now. The closing date is Friday 26th of January 2024. So take a look at the materials and sign up your class with us at designchallenge at london.gov.uk. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have or perhaps have a Teams call if needed. London faces many challenges in the future. We want students to learn more about how the city is shaped and also to empower them to influence those changes. The built environment industry accounts for about 10% of UK jobs. It's often a misunderstood industry, offers loads of opportunities and careers for almost any area of interest or skill that you have. It's a place where everyone can thrive. It's important that young people are part of the conversation moving forward, not only included in consultation, but also a future career, with many jobs needed in the green energy, sustainability, design and digital professions, for instance. We want participants to be inspired, to be creative, and ultimately have loads and loads of fun doing it, which we know that you can deliver. Thank you so much for coming on the challenge journey with us. We really, really look forward to the entries. Thanks.